Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Today, we're going to continue with our SQL Accounting System GSD module tutorial. Today, we'll talk about tax invoice. Let's go to SQL Accounting System, go to the Sales module, click at Invoice. We create a new one. In SQL Accounting System, you do not require to scroll to look for a customer. We can even use a Chinese character to look for one. For example, I've just put CD. Then you can use, I'm using a, the Chinese character inside the company name too to look for a customer. If you don't want, you can always change the focus column by clicking at the tab key on your keyboard. Just tap, it will jump, tap, and tap again, go back to company name and key in the customer name. After selecting the customer, you can continue with selecting the item. But because now it's a trial version, I need to set the invoice date after 1st of April so that and only by then, GSD will be implemented and also SQL accounting system GSD module will be enabled. So select the item. So same thing, you can always use the Chinese character to search. Okay, so let's put two units of this item and you can see that it automatically will come out the tax code SR and also calculate the tax amount for you. 6% for 200 ringgit is 12 ringgit. Then what if you want to have more description? What you need to do is just go into more description and key whatever you want, unlimited character. Or you want to get other info or other column, just right click at any column title, field chooser, pull out the field. For example, you want the actual posting account, just drag. You have the actual posting account, the credit one, the credit side, or you do want, not want it, just pull back. Then. Of course, you can select the second item. Let's say DG. The third item, let's say, is a zero, zero rated item. Let's say is vegetable. So you can see that the text code will come out automatically because you already set under the global setting and also the item setting. So for a text invoice, there's two ways to calculate. GST for item. The first way, of course, is the normal one where you can add a 6% on top of the pricing. The other one is tax inclusive, meaning that for the same item, let's say it's 100 ringgit or so, GST is not plus a 6%. Sorry, this is zero rated. I should put over here. So it's not plus a 6%, it is inclusive of the GST by using a formula multiply by 6 over 106. So for SQL accounting system, all you need to do is just click at the tax inclusive. Okay, what is this all about? Let's say I change the price to 500. Okay, it's tax inclusive. So after that, you just save it. And let's see how a full tax invoice is look like under SQL accounting system. Okay, of course, for any accounting system, the tax invoice must follow the guidance for a full tax invoice by the guideline for tax invoice and records keeping Let's go to look for the criteria for a full tax invoice. Okay, first of all, the word tax invoice in a prominent place, prominent place on top of the document. Then, tax invoice serial number, that means the invoice number, date, name and address, and the GSD ID for the supplier. It's over here. Your company name, address, and your GSD number. 
name address for the person whom the goods are or service are supplied that means your customer name and address the invoice number invoice date a description sufficient to identify the goods or services the name of your item if there is any discount you must state it inside your tax invoice for each description you must distinguish the type of supply for zero rated, standard rated and so on the quantity and also the amount payable excluding GST total amount excluding GST the rate of the tax and the total of the tax chargeable any amount must be in Ringgit Malaysia and also total amount payable inclusive of the tax so all this is shown over the item sections for this item this is the quantity this is the unit price subtotal total exclude GST GST amount inclusive of GST and also the tax code okay and also later on of course there is a total GST amount for this whole document so look at this item 1 multiplied by 500 is equal to 500 but it's not shown in subtotal it's shown at the grand total for this item is total inclusive of GST still 500 by using the formula 6 over 106 multiply to 500 you get this amount and for subtitle subtotal or total exclude GST is by using 500 minus 28.3 then you get this figure meaning that if someone asks me Brian can I still use manual way of issuing a tax invoice yes you can but it will be very difficult especially when your tax invoice must shown GST tax inclusive this is for the, those person who doing retailing uh, you need to show the uh, price tag you need to do advertisement that show the price you must be GST tax inclusive and for SQL you can also directly export the invoice to PDF format let's say it's kitty invoice which you can directly email to your customer soft copy is allowed so this is how a GST tax invoice is look like if you are using pre-printed format for your invoice do remember because your current invoice do not fulfill this criteria meaning that your current pre-printed format may not be usable after 1st of April and if you do think that you want to print a pre-printed tax invoice my advice is only print the letter head part okay the body part the whole things just leave it blank and use an accounting system to print the body part for you another thing you must remember is just in case your customer come back few months later and look for you and request a pre uh, reprint of a tax invoice you must be able to do so and for SQL it's very easy under this listing you see all this column so when they want to search back a invoice of course if they can remember the invoice number then you can search by invoice number if they cannot remember the invoice number can they remember the company name if yes let's search at the company cannot remember the company how about amount let's say it's two ringgit fifty cent meaning that any of this column can be a searching criteria or when you see column you know that you can always do field chooser right click any column title field chooser and pull out those data that you required for searching it's very easy and the whole things can actually direct export to Excel 
So this is basically how a text invoice will be created in GST era. Do drop by at my Facebook, facebook.com slash syntax technologies and then like my Facebook so that you can enjoy all the latest information regarding GST and also SQL accounting system. Thank you.